What up, world? Y'all know who it is. You are now tuned in with the Tastemakers, and we are your hosts. That boy, Ben, you know what's going on. And the CEO himself, the Cow God. Yes, sir. So uh, how y'all feeling today, you know? What's on your mind today, bro? Hey, man. Episode number one, you Episode feel me? Episode number one. No, Gotta man. take a shot to that. Gotta we, take a shot to that. We've been talking about it. It's time to do it now, yes, man. sir. Hey, man, anybody out there, you got... Anything you want to do, don't even talk about it. Just do it, man. Just you know what I'm saying? Just, just put your best foot forward. You feel me? Like, Facts. don't even wait on nobody. Don't don't look for no handout, no nothing. Go out there and get it. You feel me? Like, that was wrong with a lot of folks. Like, everybody wants some help. Shit, help yourself. God damn it. That's the best way to go about it. I'm glad we actually talking about that because you brought up a good little topic for episode one. What that? About these small businesses, man. Hey. You know what I mean? So we're going to go ahead and clear the air. You feel me? I want everybody who's listening to make sure y'all hit that comment section. And even tag a being you know, support it. That, you know what I mean? Fit the description of where we going with this whole topic. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, I just, I just want to say, I'm going to stop supporting a lot of these black motherfuckers. No, nah, for real. <laughs> no, nah, for real. <laughs> Nigga. Nigga, I went to the mall. Nigga seen me with the cap on. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got the cap shit, you know, go to ksunworld.com. You know what I'm saying? We on Instagram, DoorDash, Walmart. You can find us, goddamn. You, it's everywhere. You can't miss it. Can't but, miss it. nigga, I went in the mall. Nigga hit me. Hey, bro, yeah, I like what you got on. I'm like, yeah, they mean my brother shit. Duh, 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 duh. He like, yeah, we got our own shit. Nigga sent me a hat for $100. <laughs> <laughs> my stupid ass bought it trying to support black people. No. I'm not playing with you black folk no more, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, hey, y'all getting out of hand, boy. Went on the website, the hat cost sixty four dollars. <laughs> the fuck, hey, boy, that nigga capped me so oh, bad. God, he like, you don't leave a tip. I like nigga tip, a tip. A nigga, this a hundred dollar hat. We don't leave a tip. That motherfucker ain't even signed by nobody. Man, that hat still in the trunk of my car. I ain't wore that motherfucker yet. Well, I'm like, man. No, for real, like. Y hey, y'all got to chill with these prices. We real. go to the vape store. First off, <laughs> first off, first off, the nigga buy $24. Motherfucking elf bar. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll show y'all. Why, <laughs> why, why this shit? She told the nigga it was $27.99, but she'll give it to him for $24. Y'all see any smoke coming out of bit? Yeah, yeah. He just got that 45 just this minutes ago. Yeah. Just throw that shit over there, man. Know what I mean? So, like... That shit trash, man. The the point of this topic is make sure your product's right before you selling them. And if they not right, at least let the people know or make that price reasonable. Because y'all OD in, uh, especially that. all you out-of-towners coming to Atlanta, Whew. starting your business. I know everybody trying Whew. to get put their best foot forward and be somebody. Whew. But listen, bro, you got to do the business right. That $30 that you're trying to cap on might lose you a lot of customers in the long run fact, by you right? trying to just make a little steady. Now I mean, up front. So, now I mean, do being it right, man. Hey, man, they're bidding this shit like selling drugs, bro. I oh, God. Drugs. It's the same thing. Like, everybody doing the same thing. Everybody making shirts. Everybody making hats. Like, you got to got down. Even if you got some good quality shit, you got to beat your competitor. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be out here $100 hats, $120 jackets. Unless I mean, don't get me wrong. If your quality good, your quality good. But if you just starting, you can't just bust nigga heads out top. You not known yet. Like, nah, I ain't gonna lie though. You can't just go crazy. With I ain't gonna lie though. I feel like it's all about what you feel like your product worth. But I feel like you gotta know your audience. Like you can't be a green brown mall trying to sell no. Hey, that's a hundred dollars. What? You feel me? Like you, you gotta, gotta you need to be hey. a buckhead. Nah, I mean, don't Man, go what? to Green Briar and be talking about you want 60 for a shirt. Like look, hey, bro, all the, you all the dope boys in Green Briar, but you not getting no dope boy money from them nigga boy. Like, nigga, you go to Green Briar, you trying to spend like a hundred dollars at the most in that motherfucker. Like yeah, you ain't mm -hmm. even gonna cash out in Green Briar for real. Like you just you just in that bitch trying to find something like, oh nigga, I just bought these shoes, I gotta find a shirt type shit. Nah, like fast. Like, nigga ain't going in green by the shop for real. You finna go find one piece of clothing. Like, me personally. You only going in green, bro. Me West personally, end, one thing. I can't go to green, bro, or West End, because I never find nothing in now one of them motherfuckers. Like, honestly. Only time I go there is if, like, 
I'm coming back to the house from the city. Yeah, I don't need me going. There. Exactly, oh, nigga. Exactly. Oh, you can't even go in there. Bro. I would try to think of some like, shit, man. To, Shout man. out to Green, bro. Shout hey, out to West End. Green, Brian, West End. Nah, me, Magic Johnson Theater. We be going there since a little kid. Long live Magic Johnson. They Dust, gotta bring man. that motherfucker on, oh, bro. Everybody nah, coming to probably, the South Side to go to AMC. I ain't gonna lie. They probably this is did a word generation for Magic Johnson to be. Yeah, Magic Johnson will hear yeah, compared to our generation. Yeah, yeah. We will fight like hell every weekend yeah, at that bitch. Yeah. Man, it'll be a shoot at that bitch when he left. Yeah, it wouldn't last. You right. You man, right, that you bitch right. out of there. I miss Magic though. Like, I went on my first date at Magic, bro. I went on a fucking triple date, me and my cousins. I'm dating the older bitch. I never seen her. Big ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> my co- hey, my cousin girl bad as hell. My oh other my cousin here girl bad as hell. I got the biggest bitch out the crew. I'm, I'm like, man. Rich, hey, Rich man. Rich Fuck. Fuck happening. Man, where well, you better at? The chat line. Well, I ain't even meet her. They just like, yeah, bro. We got, oh, oh, we got yeah, we got, we got folk, somebody yeah. for you, cuz. I'm like, oh, bet. I had my mama, can I go? She like, you going with your cousin and go ahead. Worst idea ever. Boy, I'm talking about, you want me to play with the titties and everything? That bit. Boy, I'm like, boy, I'm not touching you. You got it. <laughs> hey, no, nah, since we talking about it, because that ain't where I want to go with this, I mean, but since we there, I wonder, I just want to know, like, was it God's plan or did, like, is it in your chromosomes? Or do like big girls make their voice sound the way they be sounding? Cause you remember when we were kids, we was on the chat, was on the chat line, line every like, night, boy. And I'm talking about I'm talking the about pretty me. voices always was a big girl, bro. It wasn't never nothing that was actually hey, bad. Like I, that that might be some that might, might be some chromosome type shit. We bro. might need to do a survey. Hey, that'd um, be smart. A vocal survey. <laughs> <laughs> For females only. Everybody send an audio message. God damn, we, we gonna play, this. We gonna play a guess yeah. again. <laughs> oh, she's skinny. She did type oh, shit. Oh yeah. man, hey, that'll that be might hard. Be, you might hey, we might get came or something, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to used to do the blind date on TV where the nigga behind the curtain and they describing themselves. I like walks in the park. <laughs> I'm a nurse agent. That hey, mean. that hey, that might be hard, bro. Yeah, we might we might gotta do that. We might real. gotta do that for yeah. real. Yeah, like we get we get like five, ten episodes in. Yeah, we gonna do some shit like that. We gonna do it right here in the house of cap. You feel me? Yeah. Like, we gonna do that shit. Man. But no, what I did want to say though, man, I know it ain't like you know what I mean, really a a topic for us. But you now I mean, we in the house of caps. So we in Atlanta. We from Atlanta. So I just got to say it, man. We just had Donald Trump in this motherfucker, man. Hey, Donald Trump hit Wright Street, nigga. Like, that nigga was in Wright Street 20 minutes, bro. Yeah, that's a lot, nigga. Wright Street? <laughs> man, you tripping. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, for a lot of y'all, I know y'all ain't never been to jail. For a lot of y'all, y'all ain't never been to Wright Street, even if you've been to jail. Now I mean, all my niggas in the chain gang, free y'all, everybody in Wright Street. Now I mean, DeKalb County, Quain County, yeah. all the counties, man, free y'all. But yeah, man, Wright Street, I'm going to tell you, we on the investigation right now, also. Yeah, they man. Hell yeah, it was just on the news a few days ago. I they got a that. video on the news where they showing, it like 12 niggas in a cell stabbing a young nigga. Oh, I seen yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Hell yeah, they up on okay, the investigation. I, I forgot about that. That shit about 10 years late. But diff- man, that motherfucking jail worse than chain game. Man, I did three and a half years in prison, bro. I'm going to tell you something. Man, my two weeks in Wright Street was damn near my three years. <laughs> oh, God. That mo- hey, that motherfucker. Hey, but yeah, not for the city, but you bite that. Hey, have. but that's what I'm saying, though. Boy. That Trump shit, though, like, I feel like that Trump shit crazy, because, bro, I ain't even dressed out. Yeah. This the only nigga I seen take a mug shot. It was on some cool shit. Yeah. No, no, no. I take that back because everybody that got in Yeah, with all him, his I, folk, them folk, like them this. folks smiling there, a bit like on some guy. I would have down there and been like this if I was the only nigga with them folks. <laughs> nigga, I thought they were taking kindergarten pictures. Like, nigga, we out of here man, in thirty get the minutes. Fuck out of here, nigga. We, hey, man, that shit crazy. They ain't even out though. All them folks still in there. Oh, the rest on. Yeah, the rest of man, Trump, no, the only nigga. I, man, ain't no telling what's happening what? to them. If they ain't in PC, man. <laughs> hey. hey. 
Hey, pray for them folks, man. Shout out. Now, I mean, uh, I do want to send my prayers to the family members of uh, the rest of the Congress members that man, are what, hey. going down with Donald Trump. You hey, feel me? That's still that right went street. in with Trump, man. Hey, salute to you, cause boy, that nigga left y'all high and dry. That nigga pulled a gunner on y'all. They he got up out of there. You hear me? Speaking of gunner, that's a damn. That's a. I fuck. I fuck with gunner though. No disrespect to gunner, but damn. You know what I'm saying? My boy got. Nah, I just want to know, like, how you feel about the situation. Now, I mean, being that you know we from the city, you know, you don't really hear too many people from the city like stating their opinions. Like openly, oh, yeah, it's that not shit, a that part shit really of like YSL of type shit. So me personally, I feel like that gunner shit. I feel like the footage made him look bad. Yeah, like that, that, that. Yes, ma'am. All that shit. I mean, all that shit. It made him look bad. But the thug ain't right him off. Apparently, you know what I'm saying. I feel like they had a plan. Yeah, like thug told that nigga, like, yeah, you get out. Like the YSL shit got to keep going. Like yeah. somebody got to make the bread. Got there, you know what I'm saying? That shit got to keep going. But to the public, he snitched. Yeah, like, I ain't gonna lie. That's that's the only snitched. reason why I ain't wrote him out. Cause like with me doing time and me actually like as an 18 year old taking my trial to case. Mm-hmm. I mean to uh to trial. You feel me? I understand like when you going through that trial, especially while you locked up, you can't put any information out there. Like you think about it like it's a lot of lawyers, even uh gunner lawyer been talking in public. You ain't heard thug lawyers say nothing. Okay, yeah, you feel me? Because anything head, that head. come out can incriminate them or fuck their case up. So it like the evidence, like the video, like him, yeah, he he snitched at the end of the day, he he did that. But we don't know. Can you consider snitching snitching if it come out to be that thug told a nigga to go ahead and do it. You can't consider it snitching then. I if the head hunt your nigga be like, hey bro, it what we gonna do. You do this, I'm gonna sit down. Like we just need the money to keep going. You can't consider that snitching, bro. You can't you can't even call that snitching. That what I that what I pray and hope is actually going on because you know we from the city, man. It ain't really nobody that listen to hip hop music gonna say they don't fuck with Gunner. Now I mean, I ain't never outside of that in uh the little clip they got a bro on motherfucking uh what he was on. What they were uh, uh was that TMZ? Nah, he was on some shit like first forty eight type shit like. Oh, talking about when he was younger? Yeah, like oh, besides oh, that man. and this, like that's the only like man, incriminating that shit, that weird shit, shit that young nigga yeah, that had. That shit don't count. You don't crazy count as fuck. I do not count that. I do. Cause if that's the case, <laughs> that if that's the case, okay. uh, fucking uh, Pee Wee was on the same shit then. Not Pee Wee Long Way, but Pee Wee that uh was on the Ti. That Pee Wee, that uh, Roscoe. That's what they call Roscoe Dad. No, not Roscoe Dad. Oh, the one Roscoe. they said. The one they said. Shout out Lil Wayne Bus. Oh, that with YSL. Yeah, but he not really yet. YSL. You talking about yet? No, not yet. Not yet. The one who caught the time for it. No, they they put Man, that on look. Roscoe, bro. Oh yeah, damn! I did see Remember, another nigga. Think nah, about but Yet went down too with him. Oh, I ain't know. And he Yet actually went down. admitted. Oh, see, I ain't know. To Yet doing it. like he actually he talked yeah. about it in his songs. And yeah, everything. I ain't know Yet went with him. Yeah, goddamn the nigga. They call I know him as Pee Wee, but everybody called that nigga Roscoe. But like, bro, like if that's the case, he did the same thing. Cause when he was under Ti, they had him on some same like uh what that shit called Crime Stopper. Yeah, Crime they, Stopper. They, they had him doing the same type shit, and then he turned around and did the shit with Ti. On some Ti trying to that road to redemption shit. Remember that yeah. shit? He was on that shit. So I'm like, you can't really count that shit because nigga just really doing that shit for a bag at the moment. Yeah, like you a young nigga. Yeah, they saying, hey, hey, you do this, we gonna pay you and your family. Hell yeah, yeah, I'm like, goddamn right. I'm finna look like a whole motherfucking snitch. You finna? Get I ain't gonna lie though. Bro, I ain't what? see his, but if you see gunner shit. Now I seen gunner shit. <laughs> shit. Gunner shit look bad. Yeah, that nigga, that shit look bad. That nigga was, that shit he bad. was like, yeah, he was saying shit. He like, was saying some shit. I don't know what Ross go shit, but man, yeah, man. But uh I just pray and hope now I mean that uh when 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 this shit boil down, it get wiped. Cause now I mean, you know, shout it from the city. So at the end of the day, the city gonna rock with the yeah, city fat, fat, all fat, the fat, time, fat, fat. every day, you feel me? Hey. And until goddamn the verdict pop off. Nah, I mean, we still listening to Gunner, nigga. Hey. Yeah, hard as album, not. 
hardest album out. Yeah. Album. No features. No feature, nigga. That nigga went crazy by his stuff. Yeah, yeah. no yeah. major. No, yeah, yeah, no big producer, none of that, bro. The shit show. Only, only producer he really big producer he had. No was, Turbo, uh, no none of them. No. Metro, none of them. He had Turbo on that motherfucker. For turbo real. did one song. Yeah, that ain't like Turbo. Turbo be the whole album. <laughs> it was, you, that was the song he did have. <laughs> yeah, that bit. Man, Turbo be on every song fucking with Gunner, man. That nigga blew the dust out that bitch. Yeah, yeah man. That motherfucker on there. For real. But I don't know. Hey, look, 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 look. Niggas ain't saying this enough. Okay. Free that nigga Lucci, man. Free that nigga Lucci, man. Free Lucci, man. Real zone three nigga, man. Free Lucci. Real like, zone three. Pit I fought with him nigga, and Thug, both of them niggas from the three. I don't understand that beef, but hey, it is what it is. But niggas, hey, niggas sleeping I'm on I'm going to tell you, so I'm glad you like, just brought that up, because we're going to yeah. goddamn episode, episode two, we're going to dive deep into that. That's yeah. episode two. We just, while we doing one, we just came into two. That's exactly what episode two going to be about. But we ain't going to get too deep into it. But I'm going to go ahead and let you know, the same way Long Live My Brother Bank Road Fresh, same way he left the earth, Street. the same way every other nigga that left the earth, the every the way every movie, I'm talking about, I told my girl about this shit. I said, if you watch any movie, it's going to always, if the main character, the dude, is going to always, his drive is going to be behind a female. Every movie. It ain't one. You can't say a movie, nigga. I'm talking, I don't give a nigga a car, Fast and the Furious nigga about a woman, nigga. Every movie, bro. That shit just don't. It, Damn, hey. that's a fact. On God, bro. Everyone they were trying to save a female. Bro, yeah. lady, yeah, he trying to save, lady, he trying to save, trying to lady, save yeah, yeah. I ain't never talking about that yeah, shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about real life, bro. They real, crazy. I'm not even on no funny shit. Every movie, bro. Like, my girl now, when we be watching movies, she be like, Damn, you are lying. I'm talking about every time we watch a movie, bro. That's crazy. Like, I never, I never. Yeah, that, that shit. Like that. Yeah, you heard what goddamn Lucha said. Now nah, I mean, when he got damn fur popped out, yeah, hit a rich nigga, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, that was it behind though, man. Yeah, Lucha hit goddamn them folk. Yeah, y'all know who them folks is. I ain't even gotta say the folks. Damn, that's crazy. I, I ain't mean, never yeah. thought about that shit. Same way. Yeah, we, yeah, we gonna say that for yeah. Episode, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna dive. In yeah, we ain't gonna dive we too deep, dive, but no. yeah, y'all yeah, niggas yeah, tighten yeah, up, bro. Yeah, Sixty percent of incarceration is behind the female, bro. Hey, boy, we done lost some real niggas behind the female too, boy. Trouble behind the female, bro. Hey, yeah, we gonna wait. I, yeah. I got some shit for episode two, boy. Yeah. Hey, boy, oh, I ain't, oh God, hey, I'm boy, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, boy. Tell you. boy, yeah, boy, boy hey, hey, all y'all niggas out here killing niggas over the pussy, boy. Y'all niggas some puss ass nigga, boy. Like for real, boy. Y'all nigga hold, boy. Man, man. why we in here talk about that? Man, let me just say this right now, y'all. Hey. Now I mean, salute to all my real ones out there. Facts. But um, I'm not promoting violence in no way with this statement. I don't. Now I mean, I don't condone it. I don't accept it. Now I mean, I do feel I'm I'm more of a a, a Malcolm X. Now I mean, promoter than a Martin Luther King because I do feel like you should stand up for yourself. But I what I will say is. For all y'all niggas out there who really playing around with them guns and in them streets like that, stop killing the real niggas, bro, and start killing these whole niggas, bro. We ain't lost a whole nigga yet, bro. Ain't no whole nigga died, bro. You hear, like, like, regular people. Now, now, let me take it back. In the regular streets, you know, people that's not yeah. in the cameras, you don't see the hood shit they popping off. You feel me? Like, regular niggas, like, real niggas dying. But I mean, like, as far as, like, niggas who making it out the hood, who taking care of hundreds of people, bro. Like, niggas ain't taking the, yeah. the whole niggas, yeah, bro. They, like, 6 9 ain't gone. Like, niggas that you already know who is that. That I mean, spit. What did the young nigga name here from Florida? I mean, knock his head off. Uh, Damn, wait a minute. Spot him, got him. I think that he ain't right. gone. 6 9 Like, y'all not. Y'all nigga get hyped about beating up a nigga who done ratted on goddamn a whole New York nigga and not niggas ain't getting executed, man. Then y'all killing niggas Damn. like pot smoking, know what I mean, bank roll fresh and trouble, know what I mean? Like niggas dying who Yeah, man, let, let's tighten up, man, as a community, hey. man. Let's start aiming your shit at where it hey, need to go, shit, man. Though, I really wanna know why niggas stop fighting. Like, why did niggas stop fighting? Oh god. Damn, like that deep. Like, why did we stop fighting, bro? Like, why was 
after a while, nigga, like, yeah, I'm finna just go shoot a nigga. What happened to nigga fighting and that shit, like, at the end of it, like, yeah, I beat that nigga ass, it's over with. Like, what happened to that? Like, I think what happened was, I can't speak for the rest of the world. Like, that shit crazy, bro. I can't speak for the rest of the world, but I know by the time fighting stopped becoming a thing, Atlanta had took over music. Because, T.I., you got to think about it. When we was in high school, T.I., Jeezy, Shouted Low, French Eye, we had... It, it had a million niggas What's going so crazy? crazy. All them niggas used to be, now they cool as fuck. Yeah, but then what I'm saying, though, right? That's crazy. Down here is different from, like, up north and shit. Like, okay. I can't speak for the West Coast because that ain't, that ain't our district at yeah. all. But up north, you get kept with a gun. That's what you damn near, like, you out of the door. Like, it ain't nothing worse. In New York up there, like, anywhere up there, but a gun is the work. Like, you could say it's the opposite here from there. Like, down here, you can catch a body you and go to right street. You could be out tomorrow. Now, I mean, New York, you ain't even got to hit nobody. If you get caught with a gun, but it ain't sure, and you ain't got no paper, and I don't even know how they paperwork system go. So they they like sending your head to Rocker Island. Yeah, yeah. Lil Wayne went. He what are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, on the tour bus. Hey, shout out to Trump for getting that boy out there. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, okay. That okay. That's that, the only that, shout that out I'm going to give him. No, no, no. He got him in that boy yeah. out. So I got fucked. I don't know. Yeah, dude. I don't say nothing for the bread. I'm talking about Kodak Black. Yeah, I don't want to say that. Yeah, he did talk shit. It's how you look at it. It's a personal thing. I forgot about that. I mean, it's your opinion. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I am with, hey, I ain't never really been a Boosie fan at all, man, but that's probably the one thing. Hey, you already got the bag. You already got the bag. It ain't like you no broke nigga. Uh, M and you already unless you ain't really got the bag. Yeah. And I mean you struggling, but man, I'm not doing no I'm I'm with Boost on that. I agree I'm not, with Boost on that. I'm not hey, doing nothing with nothing. Boost though. are the realest niggas still walking. Real shit. I don't I don't hey, I fuck with a lot of these rappers, like other states, other cities, all that. Boosie is still the realest nigga walking. I don't feel no I ain't gonna lie, I like Boosie. I, and I, I even, like the person of Boosie. Yeah, I ain't no. I, ain't, Boosie, like, I don't his like music, his music. I don't care for it. Yeah, I can't but listen to who he is as a person, but I fuck with Boosie, bro. Like I love Boosie as like, a person. Everything he man, stand wait. for, how he pop shit at niggas, but his music and it, it ain't even. I'm not when I say I don't like it. I can't listen to his music. I'm not saying I hate his music or I dislike I it. It's just it, yeah. it's the same thing that I used to have for Meat Mill before, like. Before the Drake beef. Because it's like the same shit. It's like them niggas, like, they make music to where it's like you can't become, like, I can't listen to them nigga music. You couldn't listen to me? Not back then, bro. What? Because it's the thing, bro. He might have listened, bro. That my dog. Them nigga had one song where them nigga really like, like, Meek or more, because he a younger generation. He damn near in our generation. Yeah, so he a poppy shit on a record. I think that nigga like a year or two younger than that. Oh, he younger than that? Yeah. Don't say that shit out loud. <laughs> like that, that bro. That I think that nigga like, all the hell. like like Meat came out young as fuck. Like when Meat was eighteen, we had to be nineteen twenty. Man, let me Google this. Bro. You can this Google shit, that shit, bro. Shit I think I think that nigga like a year or two younger than us. If he not, he's a year or two older than us. He's not that big of an age gap. But did what I'm saying, all right. Them nigga music is like, like especially for it's more so boosted in than meat, but meat fit in that same category. It like them niggas make depressed music. Like boosted, he a rap about that struggle, nigga. I can't from the daddy. Like I can't see, listen to that, that shit and like get nah, motivated see, to see, go out there. He not like see, motivating you. Yeah, to, see, you taking it wrong. That what it is. No, that like, what he said. Cause, cause, <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. That what he said. That what he said. But like with me, like I got in the meat because he nigga thirty six. Hell is you? Hell is you talking? Don't cut that out. Don't cut that out. Hey, cut. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> No, nah, but like, like, you all is like, like with me though, like I got in the meat because like, like you said, he made like some depression type music, but it's like, it was something I can relate to because like he was talking about some shit. I forgot what, what's the first song I heard? It was off his mixtape, Flame, Flamer, so I forgot which one it was. It's when he was signed with T.I. And mm-hmm. got them, shout out to my boy M.B.Z. and my boy Smiles. They put me on the meat. 
and I listened to it, I said, oh, this shit hard. And he was just talking about like some like real life shit, like shit that was going on around him type shit. So I was like, oh yeah, I can fuck with it, bro. Like this ain't no, yeah, this ain't no like nigga trying to be gangster. He just talking about what's going on around him type shit. So that's why I can relate to it. But I get where you're coming from because a lot of people say the same shit. Like, yeah, yeah it's it just like niggas, I ain't saying they make bad music. At all, like yeah, it just be I love like, like meat got the hardest anthem ever gonna be created. Like it ain't even gonna be a yeah, anthem ain't, ain't that that's gonna like touch that. what meat done did for the culture. But it just like for me, I think for me, what make it so so bad is like because I'm a musician at the same time, that, so that I don't critique music as a listener. I create, I critique it as an artist, and it just like for me as a listener and an artist is like. I want to hear some shit to make me like, not just like turn up because you know what I mean you lit like future, but I want to goddamn okay. You feel me? Like I listen to Boosie. Like when I used to listen to that nigga Boosie, it'd be like, boy, that nigga like this shit though. <laughs> this shit how you like that shit make you want to do some shit bad. Like that shit don't be like damn. Yeah, you know what? I could goddamn be some shit. Like know what I mean? Yeah. So it just be like. Every time I hear him, it's like, nigga, I'm dirty. Like, nigga, we know, bro. Like, we dirty too. Nigga, we trying to help me clean. Like, say something to motivate me to clean up. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what yeah. I always threw me out with them two niggas, bro. And it's only them two niggas that I could just think of. Hey, hey, J Dub, you see this? You the reason I don't like Boosie, bro. Boosie music is the re- J Dub is the reason I don't like Boosie music. This nigga, J Dub, is. Okay, if he if he the nigga driving to the club that night, he ain't playing shit but Bootsy. He ain't playing shit to get you hyped on some like Walker Flocker, like, oh, let's do yeah. it. No, he playing some Bootsy. He in that bit riding too. Set it off in this mob. I'm like, bro, turn this shit off, bro. Like, play something else. Damn, we don't hear this same annoying ass voice for like 30 minutes, my boy. Like, yeah, J Dub made me not like Bootsy. Cause J Dub is a big Bootsy fan. That nigga love Bootsy, boy. Him and everybody on Martin Luther King right there in them apartments. I can't even think of the name of it. Right oh, wow. there. Uh, you can bust a left out that bitch and you at Maze. I, I can't think of the name of them motherfuckers. It right there. Uh, fuck, what's the name of them bitches? It might be something manner. Something manner, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah. It, How long? Talking about across the street from Allen Tim? Okay. Oh, uh, up closer no, to no, Maze. No. Okay, so you know where the bridge at by Allen Temple? Yeah. Before you hit that bridge, you bust a right. It's a little street that take you around into a backside to where it ain't number some apartments. You talking about by the library, like past Cascade or up? Uh uh-uh, uh, you ain't even going that far. Okay. Like, I right, say, like, all right, we coming out of Allen Temple. No, no, no. Fuck coming out of Allen Temple. All right. Let's say we going 285 and goddamn, we getting off on Cascade. Not Cascade, uh, what with it Cascade is Cascade Scan Ring at? Yeah, we getting off right okay. there. You're going to bust a right. When you bust that right, you drive down. Before you even hit the bridge, it's a street right there to the right. They, they duck off. Mm. It's a street right there. And then it's a curve. When you go around that curve, it's a whole apartment complex back there. I forgot the name of them bitches. We got down. We used to go over there all the time. Stayed up and everybody in them fucking apartments listen to nothing but Boosie, bro. I swear to God. <sighs> I used to go over there. I'm looking like, oh, what the fuck? Like, we used to pull up. These niggas blasting that shit. And I'm looking like, Y'all ain't listen to no city shit around right here. Like, this is it. Like, y'all just listen to Boosie. Like, God damn, bro. Like, right. play something else. God damn. That shit. Yeah, I, wouldn't even, I wouldn't have been able to even go over there. Oh, no. Nah, you could have went over there. No. Now that they playing that, I would have. <laughs> yeah. Uber me out of here. No, I'm not. Man, I'm not chilling Nigga, with Uber wasn't even around there. Nigga, oh, catch you a text. <laughs> fuck this shit. No, Lord. Hey, hell is you t- hey, hell is you talking about now? Nah, Lord, right. the, Lord, for the call, get me now. Nah, I'm yeah, not chilling man. over here. Like, right, it, like, it literally, it's a street right there across from fucking Adamville, Rick, bro. Like, you would never know that shit right there because you know, right across from Adamville, Rick, it's the little laundromat right there or a dry cleaner. Yeah, but like, with the little store right there. Yep, as soon as you pay that bit, it's a right. Oh, know. hold on, you talking about the little side street? Yeah. So, all right, Alan Tim on this side. Alan Tim on your left. As soon as you pad that light, you go in. To the right. And the, oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh, that's some big ass apartments here. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Damn, yeah, I ran I through them a few times. It's a bus that it. actually it's a bus go, go through, through them bitches yep. from H.E. Home. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can't think of the name of them motherfuckers. Damn, I know what you're talking about. 
I can't think of the name. I'll be Cushman Circle. That sound right. That sound right. I that think might, Cushman that, Circle, bro. That might be it. That but might I ain't sure because I didn't. That might. It be might it. be it though, bro. Cause like it was so many niggas from Maze went that motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. The only I never I went through that one time. I was dating a little chick that stayed in an apartment, but I had only went over there a few times. But I started going through the apartments a lot when you left Doug and came to Maze. Yeah. And then what one of them buses used to go through that bit. I think what that was one seventy. Yeah, one seventy for H E home went to uh, Maze, ain't it? One sixty nine, one seventy. I think it was one sixty nine. It had to be like one sixty nine. Cause uh no, what it was? Was it the one sixty six went to the parking lot? Sixty six, the sixty six, the sixty six, that would have been here, yeah. Hey man, y'all nigga, hey, you don't know about Marty, man. We some old here. Yeah, man. Shout out to Atlanta, man. You know where we from, man. Shout out to all the viewers, man. Everybody that stopped through this motherfucker to check us out, man. It's just the beginning. Now, I mean, we are in the house of caps. You are tuned in with the tastemakers, and we out of here.